antioxidant yet nourishing mask plus vacation trip shopping spree join me let's find out what i got and what this mask is all about Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Well, today is Mask Monday, so happy Mask Monday, Mask Monday ladies, and everyone else who decided to do a mask today, happy Mask Monday to you as well. So the mask that I have on today is this one, which is a guacamole face mask, and it's from Look At Me. This is a mask that has uh, that two of the ingredients are tomato, which is an antioxidant, it also brightens, and then avocado, which is a nourishing and healing type of ingredient in here. That is something that I needed on my skin, so I opted for this particular mask. And I do have the one that is closed because it opens up upside down. So, wanted to show you all the way it is standing straight up. And today I'm also going to bring you my haul for my shopping trip. So I did get back home last night. Uh, it was a little later than I thought we were going to. We did stop in in Amarillo and did a little bit more shopping. So I was exhausted. That's <laughs> that was a that was a given. It was going to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and bring you a haul from several stores that I went to, and I'm going to start with the one that has the most meaning to me, and I will show y'all why. You'll see why. And this is one that I had. And this was at Hobby Lobby so and it is pretty heavy so <laughs> I am going to go ahead and get into what I purchased and the first thing out of here is the new Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible and this is just something that I purchased um, so that I can do better studying with my Bible and that is something that my brother recommended so I went ahead and took his advice on that and I'm going to be using that the next item in here, and I'm going to save the best for last. Uh, the next one in here is Joyce Myers and it's Battlefield of the Mind. And I intend on reading this as well. This is a book that my son thought he left in my truck, or maybe he did, I'm not sure, but it disappeared. I went ahead and repurchased it and we'll go from there. And not that these are like more important than the Bible stuff, but it has a more special meaning. I'm going to go ahead and take the things out of here so that I don't make too much noise in here. Okay, here we go. And before I get into the meaningful ones, I'm going to go ahead and go into this one, which is just a pie crust cover. It's silicone. And that was for me. Uh, you know the holidays are coming up and pies are going to be made so I'm hoping to get some baking in on this holiday season and I don't end up working uh, but this one is the as soon as I saw it my daughter-in-law came to mind and I do have two daughter-in-laws my daughter-in-law is a teacher and this really really inspired me to get it for her and it says, it takes a big heart to help shape little minds. She is an amazing teacher. She is an amazing, amazing mom. Uh, she's very dedicated to her girls and now our little boy. So then I'm going to go ahead and go into a tote that I found. And the tote says, I'm a teacher. What's your superpower? And for me, teachers are essential. I mean, they are the foundation of everything with our kids so to me that is a very very important thing that they do uh, then we have an item that I thought for her badge and it just uh, has uh, says best teacher ever and for that I do have to say yes we have gone out to eat and it is a small town but she just gets bombarded with a lot of her prior students that are now graduating high school. So she is super, super excited about that. She started with them when they were, I believe in the fifth grade. And now that they're 
either graduating or off to college, they do come up to her quite often. I'm very, very proud of her. And that's all I can say about that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. But kudos to you, child. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the Dollar Tree. And at the Dollar Tree, I found a lot of amazing things. It was... I love their Dollar Tree uh, where my daughter lives, which is in New Mexico. Because it has much more variety of things than ours does here in town. So... I always get excited purchasing things there. I found these little trucks and these are just little hanging uh, decorations and then I found some Halloween ornaments which I will be using and I did purchase two of those I think the other one may have fallen out. There is also Here we go. Two little plaques. And it says, The Witch is in and welcome to our haunted home. So those are just things that I've purchased for decoration. Here's another set of the trucks. A different color. And then I was able to purchase these cleansers for the brushes. And there were two of those. I did find a watermelon. And I do own the watermelon. I purchased it quite a bit ago. And I also own a little cactus. And I may have the cactus in here somewhere. Uh, but here we go with little lights and they're pumpkin lights. And I also have some ghost lights. And then we have glow in the dark palm bones and a bucket. Always be thankful. So I did get a little more ahead of myself on holidays. And then they had quite a few stickers. <laughs> stickers lately have been my thing. So we have gnome stickers. We have Halloween type stickers, more Halloween stickers, more Halloween stickers. And then I have a book that just has a lot of random stickers in here. Just different types of stickers. And a different type of Halloween sticker. So those, that's the Dollar Tree haul. Now I'm going to go ahead and move into the Big Lots. And at Big Lots, that is one of my favorite stores to go to. I do find quite a few items in there. This time I was not prepared to purchase too many things, but I did find some things on sale. So I did get a new shower curtain with the hooks. And that store is full of masks. And... I went crazy on the masks there, <laughs> but these are masks that I intend to put into um, giveaways, so there's there are additional items for the giveaways, and we have, I can get them in order, I have moisturizing socks, and there are a few of those, and then we have the intensive repairing socks, so these are feet related masks. And I have several of those. And then I found this Foscription's Eye Retinol Patches. So I did purchase a few of those. And we have some hydrating gloves. So masks for the hands. And I believe for the hands there were only that particular variety. Yes. So that is it for... I didn't go too crazy there, but I did. I shopped. And then I went into Burlington's. And Burlington's is where we went on our way in. Uh, we stopped in Amarillo there. So I did get socks for myself. Uh, the season's going to be coming up where I wear a lot of tennis shoes, clothes shoes. I also found this little clipper, a nail clipper. And that's just to do my manicures. 
and I also have a foot scrub and this is from Botanical Garden. So definitely looking forward to using this and it is sealed so I'm not going to open it yet. Hyaluronic Acid and this is from Natural Infusion Australia. It's a rejuvenating face mask. So I had to get some face masks. Just had to. And that is pretty much it for Burlington. Now we're going to go ahead and go into Big Lots. Or I have another one of Big Lots. I do have another one for Big Lots. And I found a few camis there. And they were on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And then I have a t-shirt. And I just had to have this. I absolutely love this movie and this is what I found there and it is actually a Disney movie so it's it's a Disney movie then I found and I could not pass this up I had to do it I just had to and I'm not very fond of v-necks but a sleeping shirt it won't do me wrong and the breakfast club now how cool is that breakfast club is a movie that i grew up with and so yeah i had to have it just saying just throwing it out there and then we have the little uh succulent and it's just a decoration and all of these things were actually on sale so i did save quite a bit of money during my shopping spree and that is pretty much it for the shopping spree i didn't get too many things. I did a lot of window shopping because I didn't take my truck. So a lot of the things that I was liking were bigger type items. And yeah, they were not going to be able to fit in my brother's Tahoe. So we had to just deal with it. It looks like the mask is starting to dry in some areas. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I did put it on about five minutes before I started filming. So we're now looking at almost uh, 18 minutes on and I'm going to remove this and it feels it still feels really really fresh and cold because it did come out of the freezer or <laughs> I always try to put the masks in the freezer on video but this mask actually has a lot of essence it does not feel tacky it does not feel heavy or anything like that it does feel hydrated and moisturized it does not feel tight it did not tighten my skin so definitely a mask that i would recommend i mean it feels amazing on me i do place mine in the refrigerator so they do go on fairly cold and it still feels really cold on my skin which i love i absolutely love that but it looks like that is it for the haul that is it for the mask how could i have almost forgotten our little character from monsters inc and this is something that I found at Burlington. Uh, just saw it, picked it up, decided I wanted it. So I got it. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.